And I want to introduce to you today Karen Smith Mangold. She is an artist, she is a painter, she is a jewelry designer, and a sculptor. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. So nice to be here. Karen, I know you're born and raised in Texas. Tell us about you and your story. Well, I was born around Houston, and um, my mother uh, actually died when, when I was about seven. So my grandmother raised me and my sister. And um, we lived in Center Point. That's where I graduated from. And then I met at the in Bandera. I met my husband at the cabaret dance hall oh, in, nice. <laughs> in the early '80s. <laughs> so we we got married, and we've been married uh, 38 years. We have two grown sons. I just got my first grandchild, a boy, born Yay. two months ago. Congratulations! Thank you. So tell us. Um, I know you live on a ranch and the ranch is huge, so tell us about that. It's an 800 acre ranch. Uh, my husband's family is from Europe and uh, they purchased a lot of land up and down. And so it was before the dam was there, the Medina Lake. Okay. So we live on the west side of it. It's an 800 acre ranch. Okay. And so it's an interesting story. Mike's great great grandmother um, didn't want the, the dam built because she would lose a lot of property, so she took them to court, mm -hmm. um, but she lost the case. And so they built the dam, and as the water was coming up, um, she had this really big house, they called the Spettle Mansion. It's still there at Thousand Trails. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the story is they had to move it up the hill real fast, so they had to break it up and move uh, one half with oxen, and then the water was coming up, so they had to get steam engine in and move the rest up and then they put it back together and it's been there ever since and I think the historical um, society in that area is going to try to to renovate it. I hope so. That's amazing. You have Texas history on your ranch. Yeah. <laughs> right. Speaking of on your ranch, these animals that you paint, the cattle um, and so forth, I hear that these are actually real animals on your ranch. Yes. Is that correct? Uh, there's two or three cows that are on the ranch. Um, some of these are longhorns from herds there in Bandera. This one belongs to the Cross T Ranch. He's actually a trained uh, longhorn. Uh, they, he rides them with a saddle. He takes them to corporate events. So it's really cool. And so he was gracious enough to let me um, film those. And I love this one. Tell me about that one. The bison? Uh, I, I love uh, bison. There's a few bison, you know, that they have pastured. I really want to go to Yellowstone to really see them, you know, in the wild, and I and I hope to do that this year. But uh, this was just a portrait that just took a long time to kind of grow. So I really like bison. They're it they're shows. like cattle, but they're they're wild. So there's something really magical and mystical about them, you know. Spared animals. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I see. I'm amazed by your work. Can you explain to us your techniques and your creativity that goes into all this work? Well, there are oil paints. So uh, I start off with a thin layer uh, and dark layers. That's usually what you do. You go from dark to, to light. Mm -hmm. And so they're transparent, glaze, block in. And then as I get into the opaque colors, I will actually glaze back in them uh, like the old masters used to do and that gives it that luminous feel. The light comes and bounces back and you really have the vibrancy. And I like to get the atmosphere and the, um, you know, and the lighting, you know. So there's so many things that you have to learn, you know, when you paint. And uh, it's, it's really just a, a moment in time, but it just, it's so fun to do. And people, it just strikes me, it's just wonderful when people buy my work to put in their houses um, and to look at and I just think about all the paintings that I've sold and yeah. all the stories then that people can have and I really love doing it. It shows. Thank so you. tell me about your jewelry because I hear you design jewelry too and well, sculpt. <laughs> yes, well uh, when I started back painting a couple years ago I, I spent 25 years as a graphic designer wow. and, and I've done painting off and on. I, 
I used to take workshops and everything, but then I'd have to go back to work, you know, then, you know, raise kids. So, <laughs> so I also sculpted at certain times, and, and I actually do better at that. But um, it was so expensive to do the bronze sculptures. So when I decided to get back into my artwork and I wanted to do sculpture again, I decided that I would do small. Uh, small sculptures. This is a, and now the technology is, is there where I can actually order in a clay that has the precious metal in it. This is copper. And I can actually mo either mold it or form it and do whatever I want to make the uh, artwork, to make the sculpture, and then I fire it in my own kiln. And so, and then I do the patina. And, and see, that is from a larger sculpture, mm -hmm. but as I made the molds, uh, it shrinks down because the clay shrinks, you know, in, you know, in size. So I get it to the size that I want. I do the patina beads. I'm Beautiful. experimenting with everything. I'm doing the wire work, putting them on, on leather. This is a porcelain. Uh, and of course, uh, I fire it also, and I paint it, and um, I'm having a I blast. Love I love uh, doing the thank you and the leather and the and I'm just experimenting with it and I'm about to put them now on the market so I'm so excited about it. So how long have you been doing this? I started uh, art when I was you know a kid uh, when I was in school I think in second grade um, our teacher had us turn our chairs around and face one other student and draw their face right and. Um, Everybody looked at mine and said, wow, wow, that's really great. And I looked at everybody else and I thought, huh? And then I realized, okay, I could see the shapes. And so I just started from that and my family encouraged me and they would buy me oil paints and I would paint on little pieces of wood or something like that. And so I've been doing it since I was a kid. Karen Smith Mangold, spectacular designer. Hello to Gallery.